The Teams window is fine, but wouldn't it be way more fun if you could make it more interactive, more interesting, more personalised? Maybe you'd like a little frame to sit in. Maybe having your own name at the bottom. Maybe adding things like timers or images or maybe even reports. Well, using OBS, you can do this. And this buys out short, I'm going to show you how. The first thing you'll need to do is download OBS, or Open Broadcast Software. It's free and you can download it for Windows, Mac or Linux. Once you've got that installed, give it a launch. The first thing you're going to need to do is set up your scene. We're going to have two different scenes. We're going to have our basic scene and then we're going to have our more interesting scene. Go down to scene, right click. And we'll rename this to basic camera. So this is going to be part of our virtual camera that we're going to upload. Just to the right of this, under sources, we're going to choose the two pieces that we need. Click on the little plus, And the first thing we need is our video. Give that a click. Click OK. And hello. Click OK on that and you can resize your camera to fit your screen. So I can drag from the bottom. I can also crop holding the Alt key. So if I wanted to remove parts of the screen, I can hold Alt to do that. Next thing you need is the audio, because right now you're just acting like a mime. Nobody's gonna be able to hear you in your meeting. Go to plus, go to audio input, give that a click, click OK, and then we're gonna choose the input device that we're interested in. Click OK, and you'll be able to see your sound flickering around. And that's it. That's all you need to create yourself a basic camera. Let's make a more interesting one. Right click on your basic camera and duplicate. And we'll change the name of this to Extra Camera. Click OK. And let's add some more features. So I'm going to go plus, and I'm going to start off by adding myself a. I'm going to start by adding myself an image. PNGs work best as their transparent properties will carry through. So I'm going to go image. I'm going to call this my border. Click OK, and then browse to where I've saved this. For me, it's on the desktop. Make sure you save it in a location where it won't be moving. OBS doesn't import your image, it references it. So if it gets renamed or moved, this will need to be reset. Click open and click OK. And you see I've got a little border. I'm going to drag my camera a little bit smaller so I can put it all inside of my border. If I want a little bit less of my camera, if you remember it's the Alt key, hold Alt, drag in from the side, there we go. If I want to add a name tag, I can go to the plus, and this time I'm going to go to text. Click OK, and I'm going to add my name. Click OK again, position that onto your camera or wherever you want it on your screen, resize it, and now we've got our little name box. Next, I would like to add myself a background, so I'm going to go plus. I'm going to add in an image, click OK, browse, and I'm going to grab my dancing dino, which is going to be the background of my screen. Click open and click OK. Resize your image. Oh, mine's cutting me off. So down in sources, you'll see I've got the image at the top, my background. All I need to do is grab that and drag it to the bottom. And that becomes my background. If I want to add other features, like for example, a timer, I can go plus. I can go up to my image. I'm going to call this one timer. Click OK. Browse and select the timer. Click OK. Any of these features you can actually turn on and off. So if I go down to timer and use the little eyeball, I can make that vanish. I can set up these two different windows based on 
keyboard shortcuts. Go to File, go to Settings, go down to Hot Keys, scroll down, find your basic camera, and I'm going to set this on Shift B. If I scroll down to Extra Camera, I'm going to set that on Shift E. And now when I switch to these, I can do it just from a keyboard shortcut, rather than having to switch into OBS and change that. I could do the same thing for my timer. So if I wanted my timer to start on a particular keyboard shortcut, I could go down to Show Timer, Shift T, and now it will show the timer. Click Apply. And the last thing to do is actually put this into our Teams. On the right hand side, go down to Start Virtual Camera, give that a click, and then join your meeting. With your camera set to off, hover over the top and you see you get a little preview. Use the drop down and change from integrated web camera or whatever web camera you're using to OBS virtual camera. And you get a preview. Hello. Turn that on and you'll see you're now using your virtual camera, which just now doesn't seem that impressive. But if you remember, I had the Shift E keyboard and you'll see it turns on to my exotic camera. Now, because I'm recording myself, everything shows as backwards, but for all of our viewers, it will show as forwards. If I want to switch back, I can just do the Shift and B, and that will switch me back to my original camera. I hope you found this Wise Out tutorial helpful. If you have, do let us know in the comments below how you're planning on using this. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.